King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. This is episode 3 into my web series for my NBA 2K15 wish list. Today we're going to be going over animations. There's a lot to talk about here. Um, a lot of people was in the comment section talking about why didn't I talk about rebounding as something that has to do with gameplay. Well, let me tell you what the problem with rebounding is. It actually has to do with the animations that are given to us on the fly by 2K in NBA 2K14. So let's talk about NBA 2K15 and what can be done to make the game better. Let's jump into it, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk about animations for NBA 2K15. My wants and needs definitely have to go in the blocking, rebounding, passing, and shooting, and even alley-oops category. But let's talk about blocking for a minute. First thing, blocking, the animations that are given to us are terrible. There is no reason for us to jump twice for one button press. Yes, 2K, this happens a lot. We may try to jump, you know, even, even blocking the guy's shot at the three-point line, you will press the button once he'll jump. He'll come down on his feet and jump again. Now, not only is that a bad animation, but you actually get a bad block attempt on you, so you lose points to your um, teammate grade which totally sucks and this happens all the time if you're inside the paint and a guy is driving for a layup you jump you may not block the shot you mess up his layup and he misses it of course but guess what's happening to you you jump again you jump twice and you don't have the time to grab the rebound because you're in midair blocking something that's not there so please 2k one button press at a time one reaction to our button presses at a time. If I press the block button once, I expect my guy to block it only once. I only want him to jump one time. I don't want the double jump, you know, just in case he grabs his rebound and try to go back up. I don't want that. Let me do it myself. Now, let's talk about rebounding. A lot of people say that they can't grab rebounds because the CPU is so overpowered. It's not because the CPU is overpowered. It's because your man is literally out of position by 2K's standards. So if you're boxing out, right? If you're boxing a guy out and he's behind you and you know for a fact you got the box out, the rebound is about to come off the cylinder and you're going to grab the rebound. Guess what happens? In 2K's logic, your arms are flat out, right, in the defensive uh, pose uh, position, trying to box out a guy. Now, once that guy meets with your back and you're actually boxing him out in the animation, take a, a small look at your guy and see what he does. He either slides to the right, slides to the left, or slides under the basket. Now, guess what happens there? Now, you're out of position for the rebound. And guess what's happening with the guy that you initially boxed out? He's literally in a position to grab the rebound, and there will not be any over-the-back call because you're out of position. That's what it looks like when I'm playing a game. If I try to box a guy out and try to go for that rebound, now I'm out of position just because of animations and me sliding. That's what that is. Now... A lot of guys might say, well, I have a high vertical, high rebound, high offensive and defensive rebounding, and I still can't grab rebounds over guys because we jump at the same time. I have a higher vertical. I'm quicker to the button press, and I still don't get it. Okay, let's talk about that. Have you ever got caught in an animation where the ball is coming off the cylinder? It might be a high, like a high bounce off, and you're thinking, okay, it's, it might go out of bounds or it's going to spill off on the sides. When you try to press that button, has your guy ever went into an animation where his arm just goes out and he doesn't jump? Like he's going to grab the ball as it's falling instead of jumping? Those animations happen so much while the computer knows, the computer's awareness knows that they have to jump to get the ball. Okay, for instance, now, have you ever gotten an animation where your guy jumps straight up, one arm in the air, and he's going to grab the ball with one arm? in one hand and slap it into his other hand like a like a massive big man rebound right like a you know and swing his elbows a little bit have you ever gotten that animation and not have gotten the ball well this is 2k's logic if your guy jumps off of one, one like one leg or two legs one arm in the air and another guy jumps with two hands 
the ball actually magnetizes to the guy that's jumping with two hands instead of you that actually your hand is may even be over his hands that that's 2k's logic that needs to be fixed as well now have you ever gotten an animation where you're jumping in the air just a just a straight up rebound you jump two hands in the air and the ball actually slides down your arm <laughs> into and magnetizes into the computer's hands basically what i'm saying here is the computer is not overpowered it's just 2k's logic saying that you don't have enough awareness to know where the ball is at the time of your jump for your rebound which is insane which is crazy i've had so many different animations i even had an animation with alan irison where he put his arm out the ball hit the floor and his arm was still out saying that the rebound has not spilled off yet and the guy just ran up behind me grabbed the ball picked it up and put the layup in i've had so many bad animations like that it's crazy now let's talk about passing my thing about passing is the animations that certain people get like, has anybody ever passed it to a spot on a court and a player has to run to catch up to the ball? And you could, I mean, swear up and down that that ball is going to go out of bounds, but that player warps to the ball and it is magically caught. I hate that. There should only be passes to guys to the spot that they're at not the spot that they're going this is not football you are we are not quarterbacks here you know what i'm saying the only time that a ball should be thrown to a spot to where someone is going is something like bounce passes or like passes that's like behind defenders or something like a loop around pass or a flashy pass most passes they just don't look realistic guys just run to random spots on the court and guys pass it to that spot and they catch it but when we try to pass it it either goes out of bounds because our guy doesn't have enough awareness. Like, for instance, anybody ever been on a fast break and you throw a bounce pass and it goes completely past the guy? Like, it seems like he just gave up, stopped running, and didn't catch the ball. Like, I don't know if that's, that's because of our, our passing ability or his catching ability or his speed. I truly don't know. I just need those animations fixed because when I pass it to someone, I expect them to catch the ball unless it's like a, a full court bomb. Like, I don't expect somebody to catch a ball from me throwing it from the, the uh, free throw line of one side of the court to the paint. Like, I don't expect somebody to catch that. But I expect me to run a pick and roll, throw a bounce pass. I expect Anthony Davis to cut to the basket, catch the pass, and go in for the flush. Now, let's talk about shooting for a minute. Now, my problem with guys is when they shoot, the animations that they have after the shot aren't genuine. Like, I would like animations where guys shoot the ball and they look at their defender or they look at the clock. Because I know I've watched so many basketball games and I look at guys when they shoot the ball, right, and the game is close or the game, you know, something like that. They always look up. At the score, they always look straight up and say, okay, I got this many points. They got that many. Like, those guys really look at the stats that's happening from the HUD up at the top. Like, it, it, they always look to the rafters. Um, also, I see guys look at the ref like, ref, that was a foul. Like, you know, like real life animations. Like, I would love that. They look at the bench to look at their coach and say, coach, what's the defensive play that we're running? You know, they run down the sideline and say, coach, and the coach, you know, give them that little one-two, and then they move on to defense. That's the real-life animation that I want to see after someone shoots the ball. Or I've watched a lot of games with Evan Turner. He'll shoot the ball, miss, and get mad that he missed. You know, a lot of people might miss shots, but they don't have that expression that they actually missed a shot that mattered. You know, a lot of guys just shoot the ball and they turn around and run down the court. You know, or sometimes they do shake their head like, Darn, I can't believe that, but they most of the time they don't. Now, let's talk about alley-oops. Oh, man. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to stress this. 2K. We only have three alley-oop animations from a person that's passing. He kicks his one leg up in the air. I mean, we have centers doing the same thing. Shakedown 2012 talked about it so many times. It's one animation, two animations. Like, I don't even think it's three animations, really. Like, a guy might be standing there, he just throw the ball. If you're on a fast break, he throw his leg up in the air with his knee and, you know, ooh, it's spectacular. Like, everybody has that Dwayne Wade free, I mean, uh, alley-oop to LeBron James. Like, everybody has that animation. We need new animations. 
we need behind the back, between the league. Like, things that have really happened in the NBA, like Jamal Carver, Blake Griffin. Look, I'm not even going to stress it, but look, that's what we want in NBA 2K15. Like, we want those type of animations that make the crowd go wild. Now, uh, I could go into layup animations. It's not really much to say about layup animations is besides when we miss a shot or miss a layup, please give us control of our players. Don't put us in a crazy animation where we fall to the ground and nobody makes a shot or we celebrate and we actually miss stuff like that. Like, come on. Same thing goes for dunking. If we miss a shot or we get our shot blocked, we should have control of our players instead of going into a straight up animation that didn't even matter in that play. And it even puts us on a bad side of defense because they'll be out on a fast break and we're over here either celebrating or hurt. But we're not really hurt. Like, come on, 2K. Next thing I want to talk about, defensive ankle breakers. We only have two or three animations for ankle breakers. We have the one ankle breaker animation where a guy touches the floor and his legs kind of cross. We have the one animation where a guy might fall back on his butt. And then I think we have another animation where I think a guy like falls forward or he like his leg stretches out like he's trying to uh, stretch his uh, hamstring or something. Like the animation, we need more animations. We need guys getting actually stuck. We need Paul Pierce animations. I'm sorry, Paul Pierce. I'm sorry to call you out, bro. But we need those type of animations. Every time Paul Pierce get crossed, we need to make sure we get his animations. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going to point that out. Real life. Let's go. All right. Cut scenes. Oh, man. We need better animated cut scenes. And we need less cut scenes than there are in the game. There's so many cut scenes. A guy could shoot a, a small mid-range jump shot and the game is tied at 15-15. He going to be celebrating down at other court, flexing and all of that. Come on. It's tied 15-15 in the first quarter. Ain't no reason for him to be flexing and getting all outrate. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, I can see a dunk animation, you know, and then he goes into like, oh, I'm the man. Like, LeBron do. Like, every everybody know LeBron has been snapping more and more every time he dunked this season. Those animations are cool. But not after you shoot a mid-range jump shot. Come on. The cutscenes just be rolling and rolling. Also, Everybody was talking about uh, base mooring, right? The the bench, you know, going crazy and everything like that when you do stuff. I really don't see that when I'm playing the game. I, they never really cut it to the bench. They always cut it to my player. Or they zoom it in and cut it to, like, the hype man on our team. Come on, man. Let's, let's work on that. Next thing. Loose balls. Oh, man. I, I'm sorry. We got to talk about this. You, We should not have, like, a slow bouncing ball going into the backcourt and guys trying to like just randomly run like just regular run they just not even hitting speed burst guys just randomly jogging after the ball dude should be like in crazy attack mode like they should be low to the ground backs art sprinting at the ball and just diving like i would love to see better loose ball pursuit you know, there's a lot of loose balls that go out of bounds, and guys seem like they will never be able to catch them. Never. Like, the ball may be rolling at a snail's pace, and guys still can't get it. Like, they're literally just jogging. Like, uh, I'll just let it go. I'll just let it go. <laughs> I'm just saying 2K. 2K15 got to be better. More realistic interaction between players fighting and pursuing loose balls. So, for instance, say a double team happens, right? Guys should be actually, like, shaking and, 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 and turning their hips for that loose ball. Not just holding the ball and, you know, it's just, hey, you can have it. No, we need better animations like that. We need more save the ball animations. If that makes any sense, when you go out of, like, about to go out of bounds, right, and you save the ball, guess what happens? You might hit the front row, but something, like, rarely you'll jump over the front row. Like, we need better animations. We need to actually have the crowd interaction with those animations. Like, if I save the ball, I need to be able to sit on a few of those guys that paid for them floor seats. You know, or the, the announcer's table, you know. Yeah, I've seen the jumping over the announcer's table, but I haven't seen it saving a loose ball. You feel what I mean? We need to see better animations because what will happen is if we pursue the ball and we get it and we put our hustle up to 99, we should be able to have those animations in the tuck. You feel me? Now... Fan or bench reactions to an incoming player. Now, like I said, you need to be able to sit on the front row. Now, what if you're going 
over to the bench. What if, for instance, say for instance, you make a shot, right? And the shot is like a fadeaway and you like fall into the bench. Like the bench should be able to like hold you up and, and, and slap your chest like, oh, and get hyped. That's the type of interaction we need from the bench. I'm just saying. Now, uh, let's talk about one last thing before I get out of here because I know I've been holding up, holding you guys up. Let's address the clipping that happens in 2K. Like, believe me, I would love to see, like, guys stop putting their arms through players and the ball going through bodies and all of that. Like, we're in the, we're in the next gen, man. Like, you have enough visuals to create more realistic collisions. Like, we just need that upgraded 2K. Like, please. Like, we have to put an end to those game-breaking glitches. Like, those type of animation glitches kind of hinder the game because I've played plenty of games where I've seen guys' shoulders missing. Like, yes, like, it's a space and their shoulders missing, parts of people's jerseys missing. Like, you know, like, if that like if that makes any sense to you guys, I, I, like, please help us. Like that, that's all I'm saying. But look, I've, I've held you guys up for long enough. Um, my next video will be about the online and 2K servers. Oh, my God, it's going to get crazy next video. But I hope you guys like this video. Like, literally, like, like the video. Like, press that little thumb up button right there. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> but uh, this is IKC signing out. Um, episode 4 is going to be out soon. Hope you guys love episode 3. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.